Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are in my bathroom, which is why the lighting looks like this, but I am going to show you my entire makeup collection, what I currently have left in my collection, and I just figure it's easiest to do that here in the bathroom where all the makeup is. So I hope that the sound is okay because I know it's a little echoey in here, but again, this is just the easiest method of doing it. So I'm gonna just walk you through my entire collection right here. Now, most of my makeup is here on the countertop, but I do have a box that is extras like backups and things like that or things that I'm not currently working on so this is what this is and I'll go through this with you guys as I get to these products but we're gonna start up here okay so we're gonna start with order of application we're just gonna go through that way so I actually we're gonna change things up from the way I used to do this I have been starting with my brows for the last while so we're gonna start with that I keep my brow products in here I currently only have these two brow products so I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze um, I do like this okay it's not my favorite it is good I am getting pretty far through it you can see in there it's it, there's not a ton left I don't know that I would repurchase it. You can see me in the reflection there. How nice. Um, filming on my phone. But um, yeah, I don't know that I'll repurchase this one. It is good though. Yeah, that's where we're at with that one. And then I am currently working through this MAC Single Shadow as my brow shade. And I do really like having this. Um, I find that it's really good. It lasts forever, um, which is kind of nice. So yeah, these are the two brow products that I'm currently working through. And then we are gonna go on to base. Typically I do start on my eyes, but I don't finish them fully until after I've done my base. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip to base, which I have two primers right now. So I have these two primers. I have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Primer. Uh, I like this one okay, it's good, it's not my favorite but it is pretty good. So I have been using this almost every day. It is, you can see it's pretty far down there. Um, and I actually use it in tandem with my Auric Glow Lust. This is in the shade, I think it's, it's Morganite. Yeah. So this is, I think their lightest shade. And I do like this one. I think it does a really good job. It's very beautiful. It has a lovely glow. I would definitely repurchase this. However, you can see that it's pretty far, but it's only still about halfway. So I will have this for quite some time to come, I believe. Um, but yes, I do really like this. And I use these two together pretty much every day. They're a very nice hydrating glowy combo. So like both of those. My next products are my two concealers. I just have these two. I have the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime, I believe is what it's called, concealer. Um, this is in the shade Light 2. I do like it. It is very, very good. Um, however, my new favorite is this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Self Setting. I think this is the self setting. Yeah, self setting concealer. I Oh, I love this one. This is my favorite currently. Uh, it's really great. So they're both really, really, really good. But currently this one has taken over as my favorite. Um, they're both pretty close to being done, I think. So I'll probably have to pick up some new ones fairly soon. Um, but you can even see both of them have windowing going on. So they're getting pretty close. All right. And so now I have my three foundations. I have my Lancome Skin Feels Good. I believe this one, what shade is this? This is, does, oh, it's the... 009N Peach. Um, and then I have the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude. And this one is in 1.5. Then I have the Airbrush Flawless Foundation in 1 Neutral or Neutral 1. I can't remember how they do that. But yeah, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation. So normally I'm the sort of person who likes to have three foundations one full coverage, one medium coverage, and then one light coverage. However, these two are both lighter coverage. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I love these two a ton. I'm getting to the point now where I just, I want to use light coverage foundation all the time. I just feel like it looks so good and natural and beautiful and it lets the glowy base show through. And so I really, I really love these two. I also really love this for special events and things like that. So they're all really great. I'm very happy to have them all in my collection. This guy is getting close to being used up. I am kind of working to finish this one up because I've had it the longest but um, they will probably all be in my collection a little bit longer. Next up, I have my two powders. I have the Pat McGrath Labs Under Eye Powder. I can't remember what this is called, and the back is completely uh, just gone. It's it's gone. So this one I have had for quite some time. I do have pan on it. The packaging is like destroyed at this point, but I am 
really enjoying this one. Um, I am hoping to get it used up. I've used this every day for like the past year and, or two, and it's it's been great. Um, and uh, I don't know. I don't know how I still have that much product in there, but yeah, this is going to last me forever. And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Um, this one is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. It is in the shade one because I am pale. And if you couldn't tell, you can see I don't have a ton of usage on it yet. There is a slight dip forming in the center. I'm trying to make sure that it works evenly though. I have heard that this pans pretty fast, but I am really enjoying this one. I like it quite a bit. So these are my two powders. I like them both. I'm very happy with them both and I don't want any more than that. Two powders is more than enough for me. All right, on to bronzer. So this is my only bronzer. That's the only bronzer that I own. It is in this Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Duo. It is the, again, this is the only bronzer I have left. I've used up all my other bronzers. So this guy is left. I want to use it up as soon as I can. I'd like to get to the point where I have two bronzers in my collection, um, but yeah, I wanna use this up first. So that's what we're working towards. All right, on to highlighters. I have the highlighter in my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow, obviously. I have the highlighter in my NARS Atomic Blonde palette still. I have my Wet n Wild Precious Petals highlighter. And then I have my NARS Fort de France highlighter. These are all that's left in my collection. I'd really like to get some used up, but I have so much of this one left, so much of this one left, and both of these are still hanging on. Like there's still a ton. So I don't know how long it's going to take me to get through these four. I don't want to buy another highlighter until I use up at least these two at least. I'd really like to have these three done. I don't think I'm ever going to fully finish this one. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. But yeah, I want to have these three done before I pick up, before I pick up another highlighter anytime soon. So it'll be a while. It'll be a while. These will be the highlighters that I have in my collection for quite some time. Okay, on to blush. I have four blushes in my collection at the moment. I have my Pixie blush in the shade Beach Rose, and I've had that for quite some time, and I really do like it. It's a very beautiful shade. I have my NARS blush in Sex Appeal that I've been working on. I really need to repress this one into a different um, container, but I just haven't done that yet. I have not gotten myself together to do that. Um, then I have my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk blush. It is beautiful, and I love it so much, um, but yeah, I don't use it a ton. I really should use it more often. And then I have this Deck of Scarlet Mistake Proof Blush. I believe this is in the shade Savage. Yes. And I like this one. It is really beautiful. It does a really lovely, like it gives a nice subtle flush, but um, it is a liquid and I'm not much for liquid or cream products. So I do want to finish that one up. I will, let's see. It is my goal to have four blushes at a time and never more than that. So my hope is to finish both of these up next year and then get some new blushes. I would also like to finish this one up because it's just really old, but these two are a priority for finishing, I think, because it's liquid and that will go bad. And then this one is getting really close to being done anyways. So I'd like to get these two used up next year. All right, so here are all my eyeshadow palettes. I do arrange my palettes in a couple different categories. I have my full size palettes, which are these ones, which is anything over six shades, I believe is what I have it as allotted as. Um, and then I have mini palettes and then I have single shadows. So we're gonna start with our full size palettes. I'll just start down here and then work our way up. So I've got my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette and my Marc Jacobs Glambition palettes. I am working through these two in my project pan right now. So I'm working on those guys. Then I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam palette, which I did hit pan on all these shades in the past. I would love to continue to work on that one in the future. I've got my Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions palette, which I have only one pan in, but I want to give more love because I really do like this palette and I have a feeling that the shades are going to go bad soon. Um, then I have my Melt Blueprint stack. I'm not going to open this because it's just kind of a hassle um, with one hand especially. But yes, this one is really pretty, but it's got a lot of blue shades in it. And I don't use blue shades a lot, so that's part of the reason I never touch it. And then I've got my Going Coconuts palette by ColourPop. This one has gotten a decent amount of use for me, but it could stand to use get a lot more usage. So I'd like to work through that. I mean, I want to work through all my palettes. What am I saying? So then I have my Tartlet and Bloom palette, which I do have one pan in there. But yeah, I want to eventually get to the point where I've used all of these palettes, mostly, 
up. I'm never going to go through all of them 100%. That's just not going to happen. But I am working to get my favorite shades used up in all of them. And I'm excited for next year because I have some new ideas of what I want to do next year. So I am looking forward to working in a new Pan Those Eyeshadow Palettes project and just kind of seeing where I can get to with it. As I said, I have mini palettes as well. These are both four shades. So I have my Charlotte Tilbury palette that just has these four shades. And I really love this palette. It's beautiful. This is the Vintage Vamp. It's a great one. And then this is the NARS Atomic Blonde palette that I was working through, but I decided to roll it out because I just, I hit pan on these. Well, I hit pan on this guy. I have pan on this one by accident, but it's pan. And then these two shades are just, it's going to take forever for me to use this palette up. So I just got, went ahead and removed it from my project. Um, but yeah, these are the two mini palettes I have right now. I don't intend to purchase anything palette eyeshadow wise in general for a really long time. So these will be here for the foreseeable future. And then as far as single shadows go, these are my only single shadows at the moment. So this was a palette that I depotted. So that's what this is. This shade is part of this one, but I'm using these two right now to try them out and see if I like them. This one, this one, and this one were from my Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions palette. You can see this one is crumbling, which is not ideal. So I'm going to need to repress this one. Um, this is a eyeshadow sample that I got. I think it's the Elizabeth and Mott Toasted sample or eyeshadow. I really did like this one. I want to finish it up eventually, but yeah, I'm currently doing my little shadows project in my Pan Those Eyeshadow Palette series. So I'm working through these guys over time. Then I have the MAC shade, uh, this matte single Deep Truth that I have had for a really long time. It's such a beautiful color, but I never wear blues on my eyes, which is a problem to have so many blue eyeshadows. And then I have my H&M single here. This is the shade Sirocco, and I do have pan in this one. I really like the shade. I'm a little nervous that it's no longer good anymore, but we will see. I'm going to try to finish that up over time. Okay, we are getting close to being done. So these are my liners that I currently have. This is the Bobbi Brown gel liner that I am working through. I'm still working on it. We're almost there. <laughs> Hopefully I can get it done by the end of this year, but we will see. I'm trying to make sure I use it every day, if at all possible. And then I have the Makeup Forever Artist color pencil in the shade Anywhere Caffeine, and I use this in my waterline. And then I have the Makeup by Mario brightening pencil, and I use this in my inner corner pretty much every day, and I still have so much of these left. So these are my eyeliners. I'm happy with where they're at. I don't think I will purchase any other ones. This is just where I'm at with them. I just have my one eye primer. I have my Fenty Beauty primer. I don't need another one. This is all that I need, and I love it very happy with it. I currently have these two mascaras. So I have the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, but it's basically empty and I really need to get rid of it because it is actually starting to smudge because it's so old. So I need to toss this one. And then I have the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I really like this one. Um, it is very nice and very full, voluminous. It does lengthen. It looks really good. So I'm happy with this one. I don't know. I think I might. I really want to get my Tom Ford mascara back because I just love that one so much. But um, I also really love this one. So I need to replace this and, and then I'm just going to use this until it's gone. On to lip liners. I just have my Chanel lip liner in the shade Nude Brune. I have my two KKW Beauty lip liners and this one is in Nude 1 and this is Nude 1.5. So happy with those three. I This one is like a nice like pinky tone and then these ones are like brown nudes. So they work well. This one's a little deeper. This one's a little lighter. And now onto lip products. I have three lipsticks and three lip glosses. So I've got my Chanel Rouge Coco Flash in the shade Boy. I really like this one. It is very luxurious and very subtle in tone, but I really like it. It's very pretty. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 in the shade JK Magic. I did refill this one. It was originally Enigmatic Edward, but I did get a replacement. So that's why it's in this container, even though it's basically all the, all the uh, decoration on it is pretty much gone because apparently the oils on my hand do not mix well with designs on products. I don't understand, but it's okay. Then I have this L'Oreal. Um, this one is the, let's see here. 
It is the Glow Paradise in the shade Nude Heaven. And I do really like this one. I like it more than I thought I would. It is a little more pink than I typically go for, but it's a very pretty color and it's a nice formula. So I'm actually really happy to have this one in my collection. And then for my three lip glosses, I have my M Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade Caramel Glaze. You guys have heard me talk about this in my project pan. I love it. I'm very happy with it. Sad to see them discontinue this gloss formula. But then I have these two lifter glosses from Maybelline, and this is the shade Reef, and this is the shade Stone. I like Reef. It's a little more pink than I typically like, but I do like it. And then I love Stone. It's great. They're both really nice. They're not as good of a formula as the M Cosmetics one, but I do like them both. So very happy to have them in my collection. And then finally, I have my two setting sprays. I have my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Spray, which I am working to empty out. And then I have my Urban Decay All Nighter. This is more for hydrating, just very subtle, nice, soft setting. And then this one is definitely for like lock it in place, you stay all day kind of setting spray. So I try to use this one not every day. I use this one much more like every day. So happy to have those both in my collection. I will probably repurchase this exact same one again because <laughs> I, I just keep purchasing it, but I really love this one. And then I will also probably just continue to repurchase this one once it's gone. So yeah, that is my entire makeup collection. That is everything that I have right now. I feel like my numbers are way down from where they used to be. And I'm pretty okay with that right now. I'm trying to use up the things that I don't love as much and making sure that I'm bringing in only new pieces that I really, really do love. So I'm happy with where it's at right now. I would like to get some new things. It's the end of the year. So I feel like this is kind of always where I'm at at the end of the year. I have so few products because I haven't purchased anything for a while, but I would like to purchase some new things somewhat soon. Um, but we'll see. I might just try to continue to use things as I use them. Eyeshadows, definitely not going to purchase anything for a really long time. Same with highlighters, but bronzers, blushes, things like that. I am getting closer to using up, um, pretty much everything I own. So I'm feeling really good about that. And it's very nice. I feel like it's a very manageable collection where I don't really have to worry about what I have and what's expiring all the time. So I'm really happy with where my collection is at. Would like to add to it in the future, but it is just a very nice minimalistic collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are, and I will see you guys in the next one.